Uh, welcome or welcome back at any help at C-square. In this example, we need to find the inverse function f of x. f of x is a one-to-one -one function. So, therefore, we can find an inverse function for this f of x. And the first step for finding the inverse function is to replace f of x with y. And then if you take a look here, I said the order pair x, y belongs to the original function f. And this y, x belongs to the inverse function. So just based on that, you should uh, know that the next step is to interchange x and y, switch x and y. So instead of y, I'm going to write x equals 2 times y plus 1 over y minus 1 and in this moment we need to solve for y so one way to do it is by multiplying by y minus 1 on both sides to eliminate the denominator and we have uh, x times y minus 1 on the left side equal this 2y minus 1 cancel out 2y plus 1. I'm going to use distributive property here. So I'm going to have xy minus x equals 2y plus 1. And the next thing you want to do is to bring y's on one side of the uh, equation and uh, the term without y on the other side. So let's see what we can do here. One way to do it is by subtracting 2y and we have here xy minus 2y minus x equals 1 add x and we have xy minus 2y equals 1 plus x or x plus 1. And now, as I said, you notice we have only a uh, term of y's on the left side and uh, on the right side, no y's. On the left side, we can factor out the y. Then we have times the quantity x minus 2 equals x plus 1. Uh, the next thing to solve for y is divide by x minus 2. And we have y equals x plus 1 over x minus 2. This is the inverse function. Of course, here we need to be sure x cannot be 2. And now I'm going to use the notation. This notation means the inverse function of f is x plus 1 over x minus 2. How do you check if uh, this is an inverse function? You have uh, several ways. One way is to do the combination and see if you get x, which will happen. Uh, of course, don't forget to check uh, also this combination. And both of them will work fine. Uh, you can use a numerical approach, which means you pick a number for x, plug it in to f of x, so like uh, 3, um, yeah, or 2, in fact, I think 2 works better. We have f of 2, that will be uh, 2, 4 plus 1, uh, 5. So that will be 5, and then you go backwards and you plug this 5 in the inverse function. And you should notice that you get the same value of 2. So these are two ways, and also you can look to a graphical approach. This is on my next slide, right here. Um, and you notice we have I have three graphs here. I have f of x the inverse function, and then I have y equals x. If you notice, these two graphs 
uh, are related if the inverse function is a reflection of f of x over y equals x and vice versa. Uh, if I reflect the inverse function uh, over y equals x, I get the original function. And this is a graphical way to check the result. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.